Hello. It's been... Huh, it's been a year. It's been a year since I've been making these videos. I started them and then suddenly was called to leave. So, we're a bit rusty at this. And we're going to have to figure out a way to get back into it. This is day one. Day one back home right now. But right now, I am ready for bed. I'm ready for sleep. So I'm going to try to get some sleep and we're going to start the day off strong tomorrow. Get back to it. Ugh, that's more like it. Okay, next day I feel infinitely better after that sleep. Ran a few errands, feeling pretty, pretty good. Um, I just bought way too much shit, is the truth. Um, gotta go take care of that now and get back into the groove. Yeah, get back into the swing of things. Swing. The swing of things. Man, I swear I have not forgotten to talk. My current living situation. Ugh. You know, the sad truth of the matter is, like, this stuff is barely the beginning of what I did today. There's a lot of light back here. I think we're ready. <laughs> we are out and about again today. It's like day three uh, home, day two and a half, whichever way you want to look at it. As you can see, I'm all dolled up. I got a new hat. Got my uh, little fanny pack going for me. Some styling. So we're gonna see how today goes. I'm not doing too terribly much, still recovering. Last night, didn't sleep great. Um, I think that's just adjusting to just being back. Well, honestly, just being in a new place is essentially what it's like. Um, I was gonna get up and work out today, but I slept so bad last night, I decided, nah, I'm gonna just push through and go tomorrow. Um, I, I had originally scheduled my program to start, not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. So I got home kind of a week and a half sooner than I anticipated, which is great. That gives me kind of a week to ease into it, give me some extra time. And I'm happy about that. So, that's good. One thing that makes me pretty self-conscious when I'm looking at the camera, I'm not gonna lie, right now especially, is just how small I've gotten. Or I've made, managed to maintain my fat, but I've managed to lose my muscle. Now, it's partly my fault, because the last month and a half, I just decided mentally, physically, to give myself a break and not go to the gym. I had the availability to go. Some days might have had to be skipped because of tasks being put out to us, but I overall had the opportunity to go to the gym, but I chose not to, so I'm going to live with that. My body naturally sits at a, uh, it wants to sit lower on weight. So again, I'm playing up ahead. This series that's coming very soon is gonna be me attempting to do a serious bulk or a consistent bulk. I've done bulks in the past, but I have failed to be consistent with them. I can keep up with the diet and the eating um, for about two or three weeks pretty good, and then I hit that plateau where I just don't want to eat anymore, or I fall off the bandwagon and I just dial it back completely, and it's, it's pathetic, but it's the truth. And I've done this a few times, and those are the times when I've taken a few pictures of myself and I look in a, like a t-shirt or something, oh, like I'm pretty big, when in reality, it's a lot of water weight. It's uh, not a whole lot of muscle is the reality. I hope, no, I plan to be consistent from the time I start in mid-August until Christmas. So it's gonna give me a few months to be consistently eating and training and resting and all that good stuff. So I do believe I'll see some progress um, I'll, I'll rebound here after a few days, after a few days, after a couple weeks. I know my muscle, muscle memory is a thing. I'll get some of that back. I'll get some size back in the places I want. 
I would like to avoid, you know, putting on any excess fat. That's gonna be, I mean, a challenge with like any bulk because I feel mine's gonna be a mix of some days, most days which will be clean uh, or moderately clean, whereas some of them will be dirty. Um, just to get those extra calories in because again, I am terrible. Pretty soon you'll see me with an ugly neck beard, um, probably some more hair on top of my head along with the bulk. Isn't that usually the uh, the signs of a guy who's try who works who likes to work out? The signs that he's bulking is when he decides to stop shaving. The key is to, you know to hide that water weight in the face. I would love to avoid that, but I know I won't be able to do. I can only do so much to uh, make that happen. Okay, so the first place we're going today is Best Buy, and conveniently the next place I gotta go is right next door, Michael's. Anyway, why is? Huh, I'm gonna take a look at that later. I was rubbing my eye a little while ago, but now it looks a little irritated. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. I know cameras, I think, are allowed inside of Best Buy, but I am not to the point yet to where I am gonna just take this camera in just everywhere. So I definitely have a problem. And the problem, <laughs> at least coming home, was buying way too much shit. Oh. Yeah. One thing I have bought a ton of, maybe I exaggerate a little bit, one thing I've bought a good amount of is some energy drinks. You'll probably see it in the thumbnail, probably the thumbnail. And I'm just trying to prepare myself for the future. Focus, focus. Yeah! I'm going on this one. So, trying to help fuel my caffeine addiction with several options that will hopefully last me for the next month, if not month and a half. I've been recently on Instagram doing these reviews on energy drinks specifically in the last couple months being deployed and they were going pretty well and I've got a lot of feedback from those things out of all of them so I decided one of them I'll try is with this because I've wanted to try I really like Gorilla Mind I mean you've seen it in a couple of my other videos I'm a huge fan of their supplement line so I was like when they came out with energy drinks while I was away I was like damn I gotta wait till I go home now to try them so we'll try them out here shortly as well as the other couple of stuff Okay, it's now like day five, six, no, five, being back home. And now I'm finally, finally catching up on Barbenheimer. Yes, we are going to honor Barbenheimer and do a double feature today. So I'm starting off with with uh, Oppenheimer. Um, based on recommendations, that is the one to start with. So we're going to go with that first, and then Barbie will be later. I will change into a more appropriate shirt for that. But let's go check this out. I am very excited. I I mean, Christopher Nolan is my favorite director easily. And he is one of the best living directors today. So I already know I'm going to love this movie one way or another. It just depends on the level of love it will be. So let's go find out. Eight. Seven. Six. Woof. That was a lot, to be sure. I'm not sure the right words right now to say. Either way, I mean, it, as far as I, I loved it, like I said, I would. I knew I would. Uh, Mr. Nolan, again, just uh, made a, another modern masterpiece. And yeah, I'm gonna have to really sit on that and think about it a little bit longer. The last 90 seconds of the movie, though, were like, mwah, very poignant. Poignant? Just strong, powerful. It's very, very good. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Okay, just arrived for Barbie. I'm running a little bit behind, so I'll get back to you once it's over. Well, cinema at its greatest. <laughs> no, I enjoyed it. It was a fun movie. But you know, 
I'm going to end the video here. Coming next week, I will be starting my series, which is involving my bulk, so stay tuned for that. If you could do me a huge favor and help me out by, you know, doing what you do, liking, commenting, subscribing, and I would sincerely appreciate it. Thank you very much for staying here as long as you have, and have a good one. Cheers.